Crafters and welcome back to another video with Amy Makes That. Thanks so much for stopping by to today's video, which is my office tour. This is my lovely new background, which means I have a new home. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did buy a new home this past July and we are finally settled in and I wanted to share my office reveal because I know a lot of you have been asking, Amy, we need to see this new office of yours and I'm just so excited to show you guys what what we've been working on for the past few months. I have not vlogged in what it feels like forever. This is the door, I have a cute little A sign, and my doorknobs that I did change out. These were actually fairly simple to install. I installed them myself, so if I can do it, you guys can do it. Let's open the door. Oh yeah. Oh, are you kidding, Amy? Let's redo that. So as soon as you walk in, you will see I have two closets right here. We installed new door handles. The ones that came with our home were just single ones. And again, they were just very old and not the cutest looking. So I love this gold. This is a really tall closet, which I did not have this amount of space in my old closet. I'll give you a slow pan view of everything. I'm obsessed with these boxes. I got them from Ikea. This is where I save some of like my supplies like polyurethane tape. Here, I don't have a lot in here. I should put more in there, honestly. But here I have all of my vinyl. This is my HTV vinyl and then this is my adhesive vinyl. I just have rolls upon rolls in there. This shelf just has, again, like a lot of blanks. I don't really have a method to my madness of like what I'm storing in my closet. One day I'm gonna really organize my closet, but right now that's just the best I can do. So I recently just put this here for now. This is temporary, but this is where I keep all of my Cricut mats. This closet right over here is extra storage for Alex and I. I'm honestly thinking of putting like a vinyl decal or something up here, something crafting Cricut related. If you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments. But this right here is my absolute favorite. This is the cart that I have to store a lot of my Cricut stuff. In here I have my Easy Press 2. I have my mini Easy Press and then I have some tools of mine. I wanted to make them look cute and organized so I put them in here and then I have my Cricut Joy on the top because she just looks so cute here. Also kind of annoying this is designed very Cricut like do you, do you see what I mean? And then here I just have my corner to store my tripod and my camera when I'm not filming. It just fits better in this corner. And then this is my lovely inkjet printer. I brought this over from my old home. I'm back. I got this little mirror, I believe from Target, like the dollar section. A lot of the time when I film, I just need to like look at myself really quick to make sure everything looks good. Let's show you my desk area next. So I showed you a little bit of it before, but this is it. It looks smaller on camera, but I promise you it is huge. This is a two piece set. This is actually from my old home. I use both of these to hold my big commercial heat press from 143 Vinyl. I'm obsessed with this rolling chair. I feel like having a rolling chair is just so much easier, especially with a desk like this. Hold on. If I need something from this side of the desk, oh, let me just slide over here. Oh wait, I need to get something over here. I can go over there. I also have a protective mat underneath just so I don't scrape the floor too much. So of course I have my lovely Cricut. She's always on my desk. And then I put this little setup. I have my Buddha from Bali, my little glass vase. This is all from my wedding, by the way. This sign I bought for my bridal shower. Fun fact, if you're planning a wedding, make sure you get stuff that you can use in your home. And this also came from my past home in my office. Also in these drawers, a lot of my tech stuff is in here. So I have these organizers. This this is like my hard drive, my SD cards, my charger things that I need. These are my paper cutters and I have some like sticker paper underneath. Here I have my microphone, just more again like tech stuff. I have all my doormat stuff in here. When I make doormats, it needs its own drawer. And then I have all of my transfer tape. I have quite a lot of it. On this side, this is like my office-y business drawer. This is my little coaster that I use for when I want to put drinks on the desk. Um, I have 
have all my pens, thumbtacks, box cutters, ruler tape, scissors, post-its, my blue light glasses, just all of like my basic office needs. Here I have my iPad, my working journal, I have just extra supplies like staples. This is my little to-do list. I always keep this on my desk, but I want to take it off for the video. My notepad here, just all like business document stuff. And then I just have extra vinyl in here, some rolls that I want to use for this week. I want to make some videos on. I don't have any decor on this wall at all. I was thinking maybe a pegboard of some sort. So if you have any suggestions, let me know because I can't pick anything. These are my curtains, Amazon, Target. And last but not least is my lovely new background. When we were couch shopping, I found this futon on display and I was like, you know, this is a really cute size. So this chair is great for obviously doing my intro and outros for my YouTube videos, filming anything with when it comes to social media. But I love this couch too because a lot of the time I will get very tired sitting in my desk chair. Although it's comfy, I like to move around a lot and sitting on here editing is great. I love it so much because I have a laptop and I could just put it right here. This this is my neon sign. Of course, you've seen that from my old home and old office. This is new. It just screams boho and neutral for me. This we were supposed to use for my wedding and we ended up not using the palm leaves. So that's why I saved them because I was like, well, I could use them for my home. And what's cool about this is that I didn't want the long wire showing. So I got this wire cover and it is awesome. You can actually paint this too. But since my wall is pretty white, I don't care enough. If you had a black wall, I definitely definitely would suggest painting that black, but it's just a nice way to cover up the wire so you don't see it. Also, if you're curious, um, I drove to New Jersey to get the floors in here. They were all sold out near me in Long Island and the closest place that was in stock was in New Jersey, but it was only an hour away. So I was like, I'm gonna go to Jersey. I'll be right back. But my husband did install the floors himself. They also are not waterproof. So if you get any water or anything on here, you're screwed. Okay, so before I close out this video, I want to give you a challenge. Count how many crickets you have found in this video. I'm curious to see if you'll actually guess the right amount. But thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Let's close out this video with the nice outro that Amy did record previously on the couch right here. Thank you everyone for tuning in to see my new office. All the products mentioned and basically everything in my office will be linked in the video description because I know you guys are gonna ask about it. It has been a complete dream of mine to finally have a space that I own and I decorated and furnished myself. But make sure you're following Amy Makes That and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Cricut crafting updates. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh god, now I have to reach and do that now. <laughs>